That was a lot of fun. I just filled out a job application. Oh, cool. I guess I'm on my way to getting a job. In VR. Today, we're diving into the world of immersive experiences. But first, let's define the basics. VR, or virtual reality, is like stepping into another dimension with your fancy goggles, immersing yourself in a 3D, 360-degree space. AR, or augmented reality, blends digital elements with the real world, overlaying information onto your surroundings. If you've ever chased digital creatures on your phone, you've dabbled in AR. And for these AR experiences, you often need some snazzy wearable tech to track your every move. Like this move. And this move. The industry's projected to hit a whopping $9 billion, indicating rapid growth and adoption. So why all this growth for a new way to play video games? Well, have you ever wondered if VR could train you to perform brain surgery? Or build a rocket? You aren't far off. With so many immersive simulations, the possibilities are endless. With VR, medical professionals can practice surgeries without the messy cleanup or the risk of actual mistakes with real consequences. Uh, ouch! Just like that. And in VR, you can restart as many times as you need to to get it right. And here we go. So, VR lets people train without risk and allows people to prepare for worst case scenarios. Like me doing surgery. You trust me, right? Get me out of here! Whew. So who's behind these mind-blowing experiences? Let's explore some key roles in the industry. VR developers and designers use specialized software to create immersive environments, integrating visual elements, interactivity, and storytelling to engage users. And sound can do a lot too. Sound designers craft custom sound effects and music to enhance immersion, creating a multi-sensory experience for users. Picture me chopping a wood board in half. Pretty realistic, huh? Wanna get started? Step one, play some VR games. Easy, right? Done. Then, learn 3D modeling and animation on a program like Unity or Unreal Engine to bring your digital creations to life. There's tons of tutorials and courses online to learn everything, from creating characters and environments to integrating interactive elements. And by the way, XR gameplay engineers are the people who create these tools that designers use all the time. That's a job you could have too. Next, get some hands-on practice. Start by creating simple VR experiences and gradually work your way up to more complex projects. Experiment with different VR development tools and platforms to find what suits you best. Hmm, maybe at a ping pong table, a TV, a couch, fridge, and I built the basement. I'll leave the interior design to the professionals. And remember, networking is key. Engage with fellow developers on online forums to share knowledge, collaborate on projects, and discover new opportunities. You can even get helpful feedback on your work. This project is mid. Hey, I said be helpful. My bad. I found a few bugs. I can just... Much better. Finally, build a strong portfolio showcasing your VR projects, game demos, and contributions to the VR community. A compelling portfolio will not only demonstrate your skills, but also catch the attention of potential employers or clients. So buckle up, because VR isn't just changing the game, it's revolutionizing the way we learn, work, and play. From healthcare and education to entertainment and beyond, VR is reshaping countless industries. And now for the grand finale. Whoop! Forgot about the whole virtual part. <laughs>